Time now for your weather on the fours. Time is 6.14. Let's check your weather on the fours here with meteorologist Thomas Gibo. I know snow is again the name of the game here this morning, Thomas. Yeah, snow is the name of the game and also we we're talking about times of strong winds, especially along the Wasatch Front. So if anybody's getting ready to head out the door, make sure that you're building in plenty of time. It's great to be tracking snow, but that snow is leading to issues out on our roadways. And we've also been talking about some brutal wind chills. At last check, the wind chill in Rock Springs in Wyoming was minus 30. It's cold outside to say the least this morning, especially in the northern half of our area. We continue with winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings. Most of these continue through 5 o'clock this afternoon. Where in most of our valleys within these advisories and warnings are going to pick up at least another inch plus while our mountains, especially in central and southern Utah, could pick up another half a foot of snow. And that's going to be on top of strong winds and bitterly cold temperatures. And speaking of those strong winds, we do have wind advisories and high wind warnings for the Wasatch Front and Cache Valley, where within the high wind warning, we could see wind gusts upwards of 65 miles per hour. And we've already seen that play out. Now, even though this goes until 7 o'clock this morning, it's still going to be quite windy throughout most of the morning, but the winds will start to gradually die down as we go into this afternoon. And speaking of those winds currently, we have a wind gust of 42 miles per hour in Farmington, 34 miles per hour in Logan. So not as bad compared to what we saw during the overnight, but it wouldn't take that much longer to see a wind gust that maybe gets a little bit higher than that. But you'll see throughout 9, 10 o'clock this morning, those winds still staying quite on the strong side. But this afternoon, they'll begin to die down, even though they'll still be noticeable, likely still having wind gusts between 15 and 25 miles per hour, even this afternoon. All of this being driven by a winter storm system. We're tracking scattered snow in the northern half of of, of Utah, where we're seeing scattered snow mainly on the western side of the Salt Lake Valley and up, up up and down I-15 with Logan and areas around Cache Valley seeing a little bit of light snow, but the bulk of the heavier snow continues to be in areas of southern Utah. We're watching one heavier band of snow that's making its way through the higher elevations of Washington County up I-15. That will soon be making its way over towards Cedar City. Here's the view from Utah Lake. We're seeing snow and it's snowing sideways out there this morning a little bit only because those winds continue to be strong. You, the Utah Valley also included within the wind advisory still seeing snow up at solitude. So our mountains are continuing to find times of snow in northern Utah. Meanwhile, down in southern Utah, St. George, this is probably the quietest St. George has been. You can actually see a few breaks in the clouds. The streets, though, they are still on the wet side and you still have that rain soaked red rock there in the distance. So throughout the next few hours, we're still going to be keeping that good chance of snow, not only for southern Utah, but for northern Utah as well. As the system begins to pull away this afternoon, the chance of snow will gradually begin to go down, not away completely though. It's not until tonight where the weather really begins to calm down with maybe a slight chance for some additional snow, mainly east of I-15 by 10, 11 o'clock tonight. Then most of Thursday will be pretty quiet, but there will be a quick system that's going to be arriving late Thursday into early Friday to bring us a small chance for some light snow in northern Utah from late Thursday into early Friday. When it comes to future cast precipitation, when we're talking about snowfall totals, the bulk of it will continue to be close to the I-15 corridor within the winter storm morning, but northern Utah will also have the chance for picking up some more snow. But on top of the chance for wet weather as a whole, it is going to be a cold day. 28 Salt Lake City, 42 in St. George, and the wind chill will make it feel about 10 degrees colder than the numbers you saw right there. In St. George, only a high of 42 with that chance for some straight snow this morning. A little bit too warm right now, but we also could keep a chance for some wintry mix this afternoon before clearing into tonight. Then along the Wasatch Front, scattered snow showers, a daytime high of only 28, dropping to 15 tonight with single digit wind chill values. Cold and breezy for our Thursday and a small chance on Friday before we start to warm up by this upcoming weekend. As we check our traffic, there are quite a few accidents out there this morning. One of those on Point of the Mountain that has caused a few slowdowns and there's also a slowdown between Draper and Sandy on I-15 southbound where we do have snow and ice covering the roadways. From Park City to Salt Lake City, got a few minute delay, but really not looking all that bad heading up Parley's at 35 to 37 minutes. Safe travels, and if you want to take your weather with you on the go today, make sure you download the Pinpoint Weather app. All you have to do is go to the Apple App Store or Google Play. A great thing to have, especially since it has a built-in radar.